I just got I, good news after good news. Here's a video of downtown San Francisco right now being passed around the internet. And look how busy it is. See, when you have policies, let me just do a commercial. This is brought to you by Zima. Are you effing up your city? You're allowing people to poop and pee on the streets and do drugs like San Francisco? <sighs> Much like Zima that tastes like crap, your city will also be filled with crap. <laughs> okay, back to, back to the regular schedules show. Downtown San Francisco is getting emptier and emptier. So many places are closing their offices and moving remote, including my company. So I was there this week to help them clean everything out. I haven't been down here since March of 2020, so it was really shocking to see the lack of people around the Salesforce Tower. So many businesses had closed. This is where I used to eat my lunch all the time. Oh shit, whoops, that's a video of me. Um, and then this was the Starbucks that I used to go to. It still has the Starbucks signs up, but it also closed. And then there was our office. This used to be a bustling place of 20 people, and now all the desks are empty. Again, I hadn't been here in almost three years, and seeing the March 2020 calendar up there with all of our predictions of when we were gonna come back to the office, that was really freaking weird. And then I had to go through all my coworkers' desks. It was really bizarre to see all these memories and Christmas cards. Most of these people don't even work for my company anymore or moved out of the city. Uh, and it was just a very sad situation. This is a construction site next door that has been completely abandoned. I really don't know what's going to be coming. Downtown San Francisco is getting emptier and... <sighs> I mean, who could have predicted this kind of stuff? I, I just can't. I have no idea why this is happening. It's so strange. It makes no sense. Like, doesn't everyone want to start a company in one of the worst run cities in America? That makes no sense to me. People are leaving the city because you can do a lot of these jobs you can do from home and you continue to raise taxes. People don't want to live there. You raise taxes, you make it more expensive and the standard of living goes down lower and lower and lower while you allow drug addicts to reign supreme on the streets, therefore kicking out families because they no longer feel safe anymore. And you think people are going to stay? Oh, right. The people that vote for these policies are single and they want to mingle like Chelsea Handler. Praise God.